very good example of the role that information that patients can provide, uh, can play in research, I think is uh, in the work that we've uh, done on leiomyosarcoma with help from Sharon Anderson. I was diagnosed in January 2002 with a very rare sarcoma called leiomyosarcoma. It's a cancer of the involuntary smooth muscles. I found an online support group through ACOR, and together they were able to find more research. It was anecdotal information, but it was very key to us getting some clues on how to help us treat ourselves. One of our patients, Iqbal Ahmed, read in a scientific journal about this new and upcoming research called microarray technology. So he read about this and wondered, how can we get a microarray analysis on our little rare cancer? And lo and behold, the Stanford researcher was very receptive and emailed him back and said to him, what I need to do a microarray analysis on a rare cancer is tissue. That led to my involvement with the patient-led tissue drive. She obtained very detailed clinical history on these patients. When their surgery occurred, what kind of therapy they had had, whether there were any recurrences, etc. She was able to help these patients get uh, parts of their tumor that reside in paraffin blocks in pathology labs all over America, get that sent to our lab so that we could look in these samples for the presence of uh, macrophages. These are cells that can help tumors grow, but they can also eat tumor cells. We could look at the role that these macrophages play in the outcome, the clinical outcome of patients with leiomyosarcoma. With that data, our researcher made the connection that the people who had the worst prognosis, in other words, the shortest survival time, uh, had the most macrophages loaded in their tumors. Instead of being the good guys eating up the garbage, they were actually being bad guys and accelerating tumor growth. He did a mouse study and the results were miraculous. Uh, he was able to get mice with this sarcoma in their abdomen and then spread metastasized to their lungs. And with this drug that he came up with, it actually got rid of all the tumor in their lungs and most of it in the primary area as well. This was pretty dramatic effects. And thanks to that work of, of, of Sharon, we could show that the presence of macrophages in leiomyosarcoma is associated with poor clinical outcome. And as such, we uh, are now working on uh, two approaches. In one approach, we are trying to get rid of the macrophages that we believe allow tumors to grow by providing uh, additional blood vessels to the tumors. And on the other hand, we try to change macrophages from helping tumors to grow through angiogenesis to actually change their mind, if you will, to turn from bad macrophages into good macrophages so that they will start eating up the tumor cells. And that's a, a large project that we're doing in collaboration with the Irv Weissman lab here at Stanford. It is something that would have been absolutely impossible to do without the clinical information that we obtained from the patients and their clinical samples.